All right, let's go see if we can find us one of these. Damn, we should probably bring our phone. Probably be important. <laughs> It is oddly deceiving how nice it is outside. It is freezing. It's like 60 degrees out. I should have definitely wore the leathers. I made a bad decision. I was like, oh, I'm geared up on top. I'll be good. Definitely not the case. Earlier, I scraped toe. I went around that so hard. It was honestly kind of scary. I don't think I was <laughs> supposed to scrape my toe. Or I need to pull my feet back a little bit when I'm turning like that. I guess it's not really turning. Eh, it's turning. When you're leaning, that's the, that's the correct terminology. When I'm leaning like that. I was mad at this lady that was in front of me and she finally moved so I was like, I'm gonna send it bud and I sent it. <laughs> I went around this one going like 25, 30, which is honestly kind of quick for how tight you have to lean to do the roundabout. You don't have to go 15. Apparently lane splitting is legal in Michigan now. I am not sure about that. I never I haven't done the research again But one of my homies was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they made it legal and I was like, damn I'm gonna have to go get my lane splits in because I have yet to Really do that So we'll have to But I wanted to make a video because we're kind of going to, I guess, an area that would be new for the bike vlogs. Uh, we're going out to Pontiac. We're getting low on the scheduled videos. I think we have like three left on the scheduled. Um, so, I mean, I guess we're not too far behind. We're doing okay. But uh, I just want to keep that, keep that going as long as I can and have videos up until hopefully like November, December time, and then January and February, we can do more of the reaction type of videos for the bike videos. Go look at our old videos and see, like I said in the one, um, how we've progressed, how we've regressed, regressed, <clears throat> and uh, what we might have overlooked when we were early on into our squid phase. I'm not saying that we're not a squid still, I'll probably always be a little squid in uh, the eyes of most people, and I'm okay with that. But uh, it'd definitely be interesting to go call myself out and say, Hey, you're stupid for saying this, or you're smart for saying that. So, we'll probably end up making some of those videos towards January, February. I want to, like I said, get those riding videos out and recorded, so we're just cruising, chilling. And uh, gonna go get a heat gun today from Harbor Freight for painting the valve cover. Um, Eric suggested I try to use a heat gun so that I can maybe dry the wrinkle paint a little bit quicker um, and see if that helps at all. I did watch, sorry I was burping there so I had to cut that, but the video I watched of the dude doing his, he also used a heat gun, but I don't know. It said to like naturally let it dry, so I was like, nah, we're not gonna do it. And uh, I think that's what kind of got me. Partially, I sprayed a little bit too hard. It said to do thick coats. I think I did way too thick of coats. Uh, so, you know, we, we learned from that. Secondly, I think the humidity in my garage caused an issue with the drying and the curing of the paint itself. So, 
maybe with the heat gun we can get better results and not have issues but we'll never know until we try but yeah man i used to drive through here every day not going to work like in an office it's weird because like i just don't leave the fucking house much unless i'm going to get something for myself or to like ride the bike and have fun so when i'm out and about riding it's like damn it brings back memories i was like just sitting in traffic just miserably just sitting in traffic sad <laughs> like <laughs> oh shit it makes me thankful that i get to work from home and that i'm in the position i'm in but at the same time i need some real world living because i've just been trapped in the house i've been trying to get out a lot more this summer and then the last year than i normally do because normally i'm pretty just okay with sitting at home and playing valorant in old school runescape and just chilling maybe cod i don't really play cod anymore but back in the day i was like hardcore especially two years ago i was deep into competitive like trying to go pro-am because i'm stupid and thought i could but definitely not oh i'm out here with the blinker on not that good especially when it's a controller game and i'm playing pc and that's the only reason i'm shitting on kids is because i'm on pc and then it's like even then i don't think i think i was like what's their uh second highest what was it like diamond i don't remember the ranks there was like two cods that i played ranked in and just i don't know i think i have the latest cod but I know they said they're going to be releasing another one. So I honestly just, I got so just burnt out on it, bro. I've been playing COD since I don't even know when, like 2005, 2006. Like that's a long time. And like, I'm not scumpy. I'm never going to be a scump. I'm never going to be a nade shot. Like, I guess not with that attitude, but it's just not for me anymore. So getting out and doing things has been nice. I bought that scooter from Kirby and I've been trying to make sure I get like two to three daily sessions in in the driveway with my little grind box and maybe go to the skate park at least once a week now it's been my goal we were stacking for a full length video try to do like a 10 minute little something but uh life happens and you know you get busy not able to meet up together and ride together so I've just been filming solo clips at the park and stuff taking the kiddo to the skate park and it's been fun but yeah man just like not going to work and just not sitting in traffic every day is such a fucking such a vibe dude such a vibe <clears throat> especially sitting through here this used to be the worst dude this would back up for hours i guess not hours it'd probably take me like 20 minutes to get through here it's like two miles straight up it's crazy and then this little bridge dude it's so so thin through here straight while I'm slow in here. It's hard in this corner. Damn. That's crazy. Yeet. We took that way too fucking hot. I was not paying any attention. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, damn, bro. go ahead and get on the road 
was a quick trip. Easy enough. I'm still confused if homie was throwing up gang signs at me or not. Cause like what I do wrong brother I'm wearing all black. <laughs> you were wearing colors. I forgot to check if they had any hollow um, like little dowels that I could use for my mirrors. So we're probably gonna have to go to Ace to do that and uh, we're gonna have to do that tomorrow. So, uh, this video is just going to be a riding video. Let's go. In the next video, we will be fixing the mirrors. Hell yeah. But, new roads traveled. I love to see it. It's always exciting to ride to new places. Just because you never really know what you're in for. In terms of like, the road itself. Like condition wise, is it a shitty road? Is it a good road? Have they done construction? Like all of those things definitely play a factor. Bad line placement, it's all good though, we're killing it. Street killer, baby. One day we're gonna be a street killer. We're gonna be killing the filthy streets. Doing wheelies. <clears throat> one day, one day. Gotta have hopes and dreams, right? But for now, we freeze in the cold for being unprepared to ride. Can't be mad, it's my own fault. Oh, we got a big old dead bug. Unfortunately, at the store, my dumbass got distracted by some socket stuff, and I forgot to pull this out of my pocket and take a look at if we could find one that'll fit it. So in the next video, we will be finding little dowels such as this that we can use for spacers on the handlebar mirror setup, underbar mirror setup. Um, so we'll go to Ace, we'll do that. I also have some other stuff coming in the mail. So we'll probably just do both of those in the same video and then um, call it a day from there. But I honestly don't remember what we were talking about before the camera died. The camera died, and uh, it is what it is. This video is gonna be kinda random all over the place. We're just kinda running around town and getting shit from the store, so peace.